And with that, hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Roma 40k Inquisitor Martyr in the next round, Mission 5, Madness Incarnated. And this map looks way finer than before. To the Martyr, Inquisitor. Not exactly the army I had imagined, but reinforcements at last. So, you do realize now that I don't belong to your expedition? I do, and I regret the confusion. We were not expecting any guests on this Emperor Forsaken Wreck. And first I thought that you must belong to Klosterheim's retinue. That fool brought a whole army of busybodies and interrogators with him. You must tell me everything about this man, his expedition, and the martyr. But first, I'll disable the teleport jammer. The cogitator that overrides the jammer is two hallways away, and the whole control deck is swarming with feral tribes. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? They're keeping us pinned down in here. Time to turn the tide together, Sergeant. Ready to fight! Alright, let's take the mines. I will put some down there, and that should be it. Are there any ones left? No? So let's get here. Let's take a look at this cogitator. Okay, that I don't need. <laughs> Mind of its own. Perish, filth. So now I will put. We have a problem. Now is not a good time. So now really is not a good time, but I will put down the second one right there. Okay, that fall in the wrong place. I wanted to place it right there. Anyhow. So, deploy Tarantula well, turret. Then. That was a pleasant warm-up, wasn't it? But Inquisitor, I'm sure they will drag their filthy god here to help them out. Their what? We interrogated some of these tribesmen. They are all descendants of the original crew. Anyway, during centuries of drifting through the void, one of their generations forgot about our holy emperor and found new things to worship. And what would this god be? Madness incarnate, they call it. It could be anything, if you ask me, but nothing good. At your command. Alright, let's put down one tarantula here. The minefield I'm going to deploy on the flank with no tarantula. But we can still put down our tarantula. Oh, yes, it has one, so that's too bad. But here now we have three of them tarantula guns anyhow but I guess that won't really be necessary. Inquisitor, listen to me. The monastery is I'm in the middle of something later. He should listen actually. He should really listen. But anyhow I can understand that when you are um, not that I've ever been in a battle part one when you are in a battle you do not want to hear some things like, you know, which would distract you. So the foot rave is nearly done. Let's then turn down this little champion here. And that's so, that feels so good to switch from um, one weapon to the other. So you can, you know, when once you are overheating or you are done with the armored enemies, just change to the auto gun and everything feels uh, great. Second wave done. I wanna deploy in. No talking about brothers. Which chapter do you belong to? I'm not familiar with this iconography. I am Sergeant Chaos Thorn of the Stormwatcher Space Marines. Explain. I don't know that chapter. I would be truly disappointed if you did. Our existence is secret, our numbers are few, and our burden is terrible. We are the Watchers in the shadows, but rest assured, we are the sanctioned blades of the Calgary Conclave. Doing what, exactly? Dying gloriously during classified inquisitorial missions. Could we talk about this later? will do just fine for me. Tarantula down 
and the minefield I'm going, I don't know where, but I'm just deploying it right there. Because I guess that is not much of a difference where you plant the minefield. What would be, what I would actually at least a tiny little bit um, wish for is if you could increase the difficulty of this mission a tiny little bit. I think it is a little bit too easy. Inquisitor, the monastery shows signs of... Um, um, a little bit, what I want to say, a little bit too easy, um, because, you know, you just, um, battle through all the enemies quite easily. I think that they could adjust for the final version of the game. Well, that is just my little opinion here. Only a couple of enemies remain. I guess these are going to be the last guys of this wave, so let's kill all of them off. Alright, still a couple of enemies are coming that I did not expect. down as well and now it really shouldn't be too too many enemies remain I'm such a friend of the burst fire mode of the normal firing mode because you can you know kill all the rebels and always go a little step ahead that is really really nice you are true before their what their god arrives trust me it is already close I wonder what it looks like. After we have disabled the jammer, we must find Lord Klosterheim. Oh, yes. That two-faced hypocrite. I have already lost a battle brother because of him, and then he left me down here to die. But now, move! Um, I am not certain where I have to go. Mm. So let's just get ahead here. You know, it's always the thing, even if you have played um, the missions a couple of times, you are always being confused. So, I will try out the middle. Man, that's a little bit embarrassing that I do not know where, or do we just have to get there? No, nothing there, so let's go to the middle. If you forget, I'm playing this, I think, for the fourth time now. I should actually know, but anyhow. Ah, now we are going to face the Hellbrood. Now I remember. Nice, 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 nice. So there's a going to be a nice little battle. So these guys are goners. And there the nice little Hellbrood is. Um, that didn't look nice, but that we already knew that he's going to be pounded by the Hellroot. Inquisitor, what's happening down there? Are you alright? I'm great. I've just killed a Hellroot, a twisted mockery of a space marine. Praise the Emperor. I also have an Imperial Space Marine with grievous wounds, and I want to bring him aboard our ship. Inquisitor, listen to me. The Monastery has turned on the warp drives and is ready to leave the star system. Disable the jammer now! Alright, will do. And that should be then the end of this mission. The teleport jammer. At least I hope so. Inquisitor, you must teleport back before the ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed and worse, the jealous shields are probably compromised. Warp travel will kill you! Hurry up, you don't want to get stranded over there. No, that is true. Teleport the guardsmen out, please. Okay, they're not. So, now we finally have a little animation here as well, which was before just a placeholder. Nice to see that. Inquisitor, are you alright? I'm fine, Captain. I'm back on your ship, leaving the teleportarium as we speak. I need medical assistance down here for the Space Marine. 
What is happening to the martyr? It's preparing to enter the warp. I thought it was a derelict. It is a derelict, Captain. Which seems to attract the attention of both our allies and enemies. The martyr is a mystery, but it is very much alive. And your mystery ship is gone. What happens now? I will notify the Caligari Conclave. Then we will wait and see. That was a nice anime, um, I, mean, I mean the effect with the um, going to warp or translating into the warp. I think that looked pretty dope and pretty nice. So I am now so pumped for the full release of the game. It is so much fun. I can't even believe it. I'm so happy that it's the battles out now to, you know, to get through the time to the full release, even though it's only two weeks or something like that. Congratulations, you have reached the next level. A hundred thousand worlds, ten hundred thousand wars. There's no respite, there's nowhere to hide across the galaxy. There's only war. All right, deep as usual. Let's get then through our items right here. Close combat, that's nice, digital weapon. So let's then take a look. Inquisitor, my astropath has sent your audio log to the Caligari Conclave, as you requested. Let me guess. Another local warp surge manifestation swallowed the message whole. No, actually. We have received an official follow-up on your report. That must be a mistake. It's the Imperial bureaucracy. I wasn't expecting to hear from them for a few standard years. I have no idea what we found out there, but it must be really important. See for yourself. All right, there we are now going not through. Our task is to find a ghost ship in the vast expanses of the Imperium. How hard could it be? The Space Marine I rescued was part of the expedition that found the Martyr somehow. If I can interrogate him, I'm sure he can help us. That man is in stasis at the moment. He was torn into pieces. Correct me if I'm wrong. But a warrior of the Adeptus Astartes is not a simple mortal we can treat. Indeed. We need a tech priest with unique skills and knowledge of the genetic material of the Adeptus Astartes. We need a Magos Biologus specialist, which could be difficult. I come from a long line of rogue traders, Inquisitor. I know the secrets of this sector and I can tell you where to find the tech priest you need. The Merciful Agony is a hospital fortress in the Chernobog system. It's also a secret research station of the Adeptus Mechanicus. You'll find a Magus Biologus there. Alright, that will do. Um, let's then quickly take our reward. Um, the Abandoned Colossus. I can conclude at this point that the abandoned fortress monastery which the cryptic distress signal came from is called Mardu and that it entered the Caligari sector roughly 5000 years ago after the imperial civil war called the Age of Apostasy the Mardu was command commandeered by, a, by an inquisitor called Yutha Tiberius, Yutha's Terror, who had a very clear purpose for traveling here and some of the members of his reunite had reasons to worry about his intentions. What exactly happened during the subsequent 5000 years is unclear. At some point the Mato must have disappeared in the warp and it was sped out by a recent warp surge in the system already infested by the bile of Nurgle. Alrighty. That is it, so let's claim the rewards. The clue I've discovered indicated that the machine spirit of the Mato, which inhabits the fortress monastery and controls all systems and machinery on the decks has probably gone mad, possibly during a warp incident and it has been displaying paranoid tendencies for a long time now. It locked down the Mato completely and trying to destroy approaching wrestles to protect itself for, for unclear reasons, alright. So we have done that. 
Um, for now, we will take a quick look at the new equipment. Nothing. Um, the digital weapons I take, of course. No upgrade. Upgrade. I'm not going to use the uh -huh, shotgun there. That one we are going to put here, of course. The stun mine there is a little upgrade as well. And that is it. Guys, for now, <laughs> we are at the end of this episode. And as usual, I really thank you for watching. In the next episode, we are going to take a look why this here is blinking. That is new. I guess it's just, you know, some mission on the star map. But that we will find out in the next episode. I really thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, give me a thumbs up. If, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you have anything to say, leave me a comment. Every feedback, whether it's um, negative or positive, is as usual, always much appreciated. For now, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.